You're tuned in to another Practical IT with Jeremy like video. In this episode, we're going to cover Debian 10 Buster, which has just been released. Let's get started. All right, so after 25 months of development, Debian has pushed out version 10. It'll be supported for five years. It ships with several desktop applications and environments. Cinnamon, GNOME 3.3, KDE Plasma 5.14, LXDE, LXQT, Mate, and XFCE. GNOME defaults to using the Wayland driver instead of XORG. And they've got some other details and then a list of software packages. Over 60 percent of all packages in the previous release. So let's switch over to VirtualBox and kick off the install. I've set up our basic settings here and then we'll go ahead and click start to kick it off. We're going to do a graphical install. English, US, American English, And I'll be back when we hit the next screen. All right, pick a host name. We're just going to call it Debian 10. And continue. Root password. And again, enter the full name for the user. and the username and the password for the user time zone is fine we are going to use guided partitioning we're going to use entire disk and continue and for the partitioning we are going to choose the third option separate home var and temp partitions and we're going to finish and write those changes to the disk. Yes. And we'll be back shortly to continue our install of Debian 10. We're on to the Configure Package Manager screen. And at this point, we're not going to use another disk. We are going to just select no and move on. Use a network mirror. Yes, we want to use a network mirror from the US. And we'll, we'll choose the default. No proxy. And we'll let it do its thing. Debian has their popularity contest to track apps. We are not going to opt into this. We'll just select continue. All right, software selection. We absolutely need the SSH server. For this particular install, I'm actually going to choose the Cinnamon desktop. Don't use this one all the time, but never hurts to have a VM with different desktops just to be familiar. Continue. And while this copies, I'm going to pause the video and we will be back here shortly. All right, we are closing in on the end of our Debian install. It wants to know if we want to install the Grub bootloader, and of course we do. And we're going to install that on the first hard disk. Once this is done, we should be real close to rebooting and checking out our new system. Installation is complete. Let's reboot into our new VM. All right. Debian GNU Linux. Kernel 
We should get to our cinnamon desktop here momentarily. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, running in software rendering mode. That's fine, that's to be expected. And display under hardware. Defaults to 800 by 600. You want 1440 by 9. And that gives us a good size display for AVM and allows us to record everything. So, as you can see, the Cinnamon desktop is Windows esque. So, you've got your menu in the bottom left corner. And it's got its own slant on this. You've got a couple of well used things up here on the top. Got lock screen, log out and quit which is for shutting down the computer but on the top you've got files your pigeon instant messenger and system settings or control center or control panel whatever you want to refer to it as now let's take a look at that first and surprise surprise we were just here you've got basic things you can see that this has been inspired in some part by the way the mac os system preferences are laid out let's start with backgrounds and see what we've got here there we go starting to display some things and let's just go with a texture let's do wood and we'll minimize our preferences window and that doesn't look bad that's kind of cool different from what most people are going to have on their desktop and you've got all kinds of things in here desktop effects fonts themes the the normal things that you would expect to find in your system settings you can also search which is a very handy thing to have all right so the real test what we want to do here let's try ux term all right so we want to change to the root user all right and we want to install a couple pieces of software here first so we're going to do apt install git and we're going to do neo fetch And we're going to let this run its course. And it wants us to insert the CD-ROM, so that's all right. Something we can fix later. Insert that. Wait a couple seconds. Hit Enter. And so the reason that we've got to insert the CD-ROM is because it didn't automatically take off the source. For that device when we installed but we're not concerned with that right now so we've installed NeoFetch so we can run that real quick and it gives us the rundown of what we're using next thing we we'll want to do is go to downloads and we're going to do get clone HTTPS colon double slash github.com slash siso phi slash Linus. And we'll let that do its thing and go into the Linus directory. And we are going to say dot slash Linus audit system and we're going to let it run its thing we are using the 3.0.0 version of linus which is the current version direct from github and we're going to find out what our out of the box score is for debian 10 with the cinnamon desktop and see where we stack up against other systems that we've installed recently. This is as good a time as any to let you know that 
the subscribe button is always available down below and if you like the video please consider subscribing clicking that bell icon for notifications and feel free to leave comments down below as well there are exciting things coming up on this channel going into the second half of the year and while I'm not quite ready to announce those here and now there will be news coming up soon and this should all be heating up and becoming a little bit more interesting for people so we are getting to the towards the end of the Linus scan and we'll see where we stand on this And we are at a 70, which is not awful. So there are definitely things that we can do to improve the security of the system. And many of these, if we follow the suggestions here, then we can get the system looking a little more secure. Run this again and we'll throw it into a text file. And while that's doing its thing, we'll poke around a little bit more. For accessories, we've got our normal things archive manager, calculator, disks, fonts, etc. Education. I, I still am not sure why they put LibreOffice Math in education, but okay. A few games including Mahjong and Sudoku graphics. You've got GIMP, a document viewer, an image viewer, Inkscape, Shotwell, and Simple Scan. Internet, you get Firefox extended support release. You've got a remote desktop viewer, Thunderbird for email and transmission which is a BitTorrent client. Office is going to have your LibreOffice in it. Sound and video, the obvious thing in there. Administration, shortcuts to users and groups, your different terminals that are installed, and get to preferences which we've looked at previously. Places, and that's about it. Not a bad setup. One thing I did not see, and I'm curious, I'm curious to see if there is a software center. So you get GW package installer and Synaptic, which is all right. So if we do less initial scan.txt, Granted, we've got some characters that we'd have to strip out, but we've got our main information from our scan results. That will get us to where we need to be for locking down the system. So one other thing I want to do on this system before we go, and that would be to do, let's see, Go to super user. Let's try GNOME terminal. And I think they'll give us a better looking terminal going forward that we can use for things. So we'll log out of this and then come back to our menu. And that's just listed under terminal. And sure enough, we can now blow up our font size, which is a good feature to have. And just makes me question in 2019 why they might continue to include terminal emulators that do not support that feature. So that is my install and quick Linus test of Debian 10. This has been the Cinnamon desktop version. Debian 10 is definitely worth checking out. Take some time, poke around, and see what you can do with it. See if it fits your needs. 
it definitely has a wide variety of desktop options available to you and many many packages that you can install so on that note this is jeremy signing off for practical it with jeremy like thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video have a great day